This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and Planet Side 2 has a release date. Um, it's been in, in development, I would say since the PlayStation 4 was announced. For, um, now when I say in development, since then, I don't mean in total. In development just for the PS4. I should correct myself so that I won't um, cause any issues or upset anyone. Planetside 2 is a PC game that is being brought over to the PlayStation 4. Um, they started doing this back when Sony actually owned the property, but they since have sold all the properties to um, SOE to their new company now, Daybreak Games. Um, but Daybreak is going to honor the uh, obligation to put out Planetside 2, so PlayStation 4 fans have that game coming to them at the end of this month right after e3 also find it funny too that we're getting um a bit of you know we're getting a couple of announcements before e3 i think everybody's trying to put out their lesser stuff or stuff that they feel like won't get as much attention as it could or should if they hold it you know closer to e3 or right after e3 because we're all going to be caught up in the hype of what's going to happen at these conferences and on the floor at E3 anyway. But <clears throat> that's neither here nor there. Now, what is Planet Side 2? It's a massive online first person shooter. Um, they said in their blog on Sony's uh, PlayStation blog site, they were saying that they just recently broke a record by having almost 1,200 people engaged in a battle at once. That game definitely does match the definition of massively multiplayer online um, because you can get these huge ridiculous large scale battles now I've never played it and it's always been something I've been interested in for some reason even after I built my computer which is pretty serviceable can run a lot of things um, very very smoothly I just haven't tried it for some reason I don't know why now I wanted to try the beta on PlayStation 4 because I wanted to see what was the uh, feel of it with the controller in my hands like the PlayStation 4 controller in my hands but sadly I never got um, an invitation to do that so I've always been curious as to what it's gonna play like from what I've seen from the beta footage didn't look like a lot of people were on there engaged in it and that's a shame because this game is built for huge large engagements um, you know when I was watching the beta footage it was just like sparse gunfights not that many people traveling through the world things like that but I'm pretty sure they had some big epic moments in the beta so I want to see that as we move closer to their release date I definitely want to see how the flow is going to be on PS4 now it's a free game free download free to play game so of course there's going to be some transactions within it but that's only if you want to make them so that's your decision um you do not need PlayStation Plus to be able to play this which is pretty much the policy that Sony has for all of their free to play games if it's being given freely through that system they're not going to hold you back from being able to access the online features of the game because you wouldn't have paid for it um, anyway so if you were on PC so I guess somebody's like well it's a free game why should we require somebody to spend 50 bucks to ensure they could play um, so that's pretty much the details of it now my concern is what's the community going to be like on the PlayStation and that's why I'm asking this question in the uh, subject of the video it's like is this worth you know picking up again it's free so you're not losing out on there but if I can't find matches I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna enjoy that it's like one of my favorite games on play PlayStation 4 has been secret ponchos love that game but you don't see me play it why 
because I can't find anybody else's planet. And that's the biggest concern about this planet side game is what's the community going to be like? It's not cross play with PC, so you can't do like with War Thunder and guarantee that you'll have someone to compete against because people are always playing that on PC. Same thing with, <clears throat> I'm sure, this game coming up right here, Planet Side 2. But if you're not crossing it between that and the PlayStation 4, then what's this community going to be like? And it could dry up quick. We know how m most of us console gamers are. People who play on consoles seem to have a shorter patience for things. They seem to run through things a lot faster. Whereas, I mean, look at CS um, Go. That thing's been around. Counter Strike's been around on PC forever, and it's had uh, so many iterations, remodels, things like that. But people still support that game. That community stays and persists. Say if they were playing aside on the PC, are we gonna have the same with PS4? Time will tell, but that would be my biggest concern about it. But anyway, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Megas, and I'm out. Deuces.